aluminum bars from pop cans. Turn the propane on like this. Light the forge. Put the lid on. We're going to preheat the graphite mold. Check the temperature. It's around 400. We're good. It's all hot now, ready for the pour. Just like this. 50 to 100 pop cans. Boom. That's what we're producing. These aluminum bars. Beautiful. Put the crucible back in the furnace. Add some pop cans like this. You can see when we add pop cans, now these are pre toasted here so the labels are burned off so they don't smoke as much. That puts less ash. Now, if we put some in there that haven't been burned off, you can see yellow flames and soot. So that's the trade off. You get the label burning, it puts more ash too. Here's another bigger bar. That's after I clean the crucible. Have a look. Slight bitch, bro, the slag. There's a lot of slag that forms from the labels. Or another one. This is a time lapse. You can see the sun moving with the shadows. It took a couple of hours. I'm just I do three at a time. Here's in the middle of the stream. There's some melted pop cans there. Slight floats up. This is more high speed summary. You can see how I do it. A lot of soot and flame released if you do it like that. Put the lid on it cleans it up. I did a whole grocery bag of smash pop cans. You see when I push them in there, it flares up with some yellow. So you can see here I'm pre-toasting the cans and the crucible is really dirty so I scrape it out. If I pre-toast the cans it fouls the crucible less. There's from today's production.